Welcome to our new series, Seer Poets, Part 2. The Bird of Gardens by Hafiz. The Bird of Gardens sang unto the rose, new blown in the clear dawn. Bow down thy head, as fair as thou within this garden close, many have bloomed and died. She laughed and said, That I am born to fade grieves not my heart, but never was it a true lover's part to vex with bitter words his love's repose. The tavern step shall be thy hostelry, for love's diviner breath comes but to those that suppliant on the dusty threshold lie, and thou if thou wouldst drink the wine that flows from life's bejeweled goblet, ruby red, upon thine eyelashes thine eyes shall thread a thousand tears for this temerity. Last night when Irim's magic garden slept, stirring the hyacinth's purple tresses curled, the wind of morning through the alleys stepped. Where is thy cup, the mirror of the world? Ah, where is love, thou throne of gem, I cried. The breezes knew not, but alas, they sighed, that happiness should sleep so long, and wept. Not on the lips of men, love's secret lies. Remote and unrevealed his dwelling place. O Saki, come, the idle laughter dies when thou the feast with heavenly wine dost grace. Patience and wisdom, Hafiz, in a sea of thine own tears are drowned. Thy misery they could not still, nor hide, from curious eyes. Translated by G. Bell. The Days of Spring by Hafiz. The days of spring are here. The eglantine, the rose, the tulip from the dust have risen. And thou, why liest thou beneath the dust? Like the full clouds of spring, these eyes of mine shall scatter tears upon the grave, thy prison, till thou too from the earth thine head shalt thrust. Translated by G. Bell. Tidings of Union by Hafiz Where are the tidings of union that I may arise? Forth from the dust I will rise up to welcome thee. My soul, like a homing bird yearning for paradise, shall arise and soar from the snares of the world set free when the voice of thy love shall call me to be thy slave i shall rise to a greater far than the mastery of life and the living time and the mortal span pour down o lord from the clouds of thy guiding grace the rain of a mercy that quickeneth on my grave, before, like dust that the wind bears from place to place, I arise and flee beyond the knowledge of man. When to my grave thou turnest thy blessed feet, wine and the lute shall bring in thine hand to me. Thy voice shall ring through the folds of my winding sheet, and I will arise and dance to thy minstrelsy. 
Though I be old, clasp me one night to thy breast, and I, when the dawn shall come to awaken me, with the flush of youth on my cheek, from thy bosom will rise. Rise up! Let mine eyes delight in thy stately grace. Thou art the goal to which all men's endeavor has pressed. And thou, the idol of Hafiz worship, thy face from the world and life shall bid him come forth and arise. True Love by Hafiz True love has vanished from every heart. What has befallen all lovers fair? When did the bonds of friendship part? What has befallen the friends that were? Ah, why are the feet of Kizru lingering? The waters of life are no longer clear. The purple rose has turned pale with fear. And what has befallen the wind of spring? None now saith, a love was mine, loyal and wise, to dispel my care. None remembers love's right divine. What has befallen all lovers fair? In the midst of the field, to the player's feet, the ball of God's favor and mercy came. But none has leapt forth to renew the game. What has befallen the horsemen fleet? Roses have bloomed, yet no bird rejoiced. No vibrating throat has rung with the tail. What can have silenced the hundred-voiced? What has befallen the nightingale? Heaven's music is hushed, and the planets roll in silence. Has Zora broken her lute? There is none to press out the vine's ripe fruit. And what has befallen the foaming bowl? A city where kings are but lovers crowned. A land from the dust of which friendship springs. Who has laid waste that enchanted ground. What has befallen the city of kings? Years have passed since a ruby was won. From the mine of manhood they labor in vain. The fleet-footed wind and the quickening rain. And what has befallen the light of the sun. Hafiz, the secret of God's dread task no man knoweth, in youth or prime, or in wisest age, of whom wouldst thou ask, what has befallen the wheels of time? Translated by G. Bell. And two short poems by Rumi. A stone I died. A stone I died and rose again a plant. A plant I died and rose an animal. I died an animal and was born a man. Why should I fear? 
What have I lost by death? At the Twilight by Rumi At the twilight a moon appeared in the sky. Then it landed on earth to look at me, like a hawk stealing a bird at the time of prey. That moon stole me and rushed back into the sky. I looked at myself. I did not see me anymore, for in that moon my body turned as fine as soul. The nine spheres disappeared in that moon. The ship of my existence drowned in that sea. Namaste.